The McAllister Police Department is facing some challenges after the loss of a captain, an officer, and a former chief. Thanks for joining us. I'm Craig Day. And I'm Lori Fulbright. The department has been mourning, but it's also fighting understaffing, and officers are retiring. News on Six's Chin Doan sat down with a chief and an officer on how the department is moving forward. The chief tells me the department has been overwhelmed with support. People have been sending hundreds of cards, letters, along with books and keepsakes, all while the department is still trying to process several losses. The month of March was the toughest month I've ever seen. Chief Kevin Hurd looks back on a month of mourning for the McAllister Police Department. On March 16th, before funeral services for former Chief Dale Nave, Captain Richard Parker suddenly died. We had officers that were there. Of course, we had officers that was at Richard's house. We had people coming in on their days off to, to go to one or the other. The next day, while escorting the body of Captain Parker, Officer Joseph Barlow was hit when a driver crossed the median near Glenpool. Master Patrolman Chris Skinner was part of the escort and was with Barlow before the crash. How do we make this stop? You know, what can you, but you can't, you can't predict the unpredictable. It's every one of them came as a shock. Barlow died a few days later. We have a huge void that needs to be filled, and we need people like Joseph Barlow to answer the call. If we could take 10 more guys like that, that we wouldn't feel the burden that we have. In addition to sudden losses, two officers recently retired, even a canine officer, and two left for another agency. The chief says fully staffed would mean 45 officers, but the department is down to 36, even with recent hires. The chief says for now, the officers have been using counseling services and are focused on supporting each other. We've come through the hard part. Now it's just, you know, the, the healing, the, you know, checking, making sure the guys check on one another. The chief says these cards and keepsakes will continue going to the late officers' families, while a few items will go on display. Emma McAllister, Chindone, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.